Hey guys, Billy Ray here. I'm uh, just making a quick video on things that I left out of the other video somehow. I guess that's what happens when you edit videos over a couple day period. So, I'm going to include all that stuff in here. I'm going to be putting in these side marker lights and also putting the bumper on. I don't know how I overlooked that one, but I did. But I figured I'd make a quick video of all that. And also with these side marker lights, I, I don't know if you could do it without the bumper being taken off. I didn't even attempt it. Uh, maybe with a stubby screwdriver you get in there, but give it a shot, see what happens. But I was taking the bumper off anyway for the headlights. So give it a go if you want. It's just one little Phillips head screw that's in there. So it's no big deal to do, but give it a try if you're feeling froggy. And if not, then previous video, bumper gets taken off. That's how you do it. So enjoy the video. All right guys, this is a Phillips head screwdriver. Probably should have a shorty, but I'm just gonna use this. Take this guy out, put that there, get this by hand. And then this just slides out this way. All right, that's nice and easy. Comes right through the side. Uh, it looks like, obviously twist this bulb out. We're not gonna use the bulb. On the new one, it looks like you would just plug this in like you're plugging in the bulb. You're gonna remove the bulb, plug this in here, and then reconnect it in here. So let's see if we could achieve that. Okay, so I took the little bulb out, shove you this way, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter which way. And then motherfucker. All right, so that's plugged in. And then I guess shove it back in. All right, cool. All right, that's the twist locked in. And then just use the old plug. So let's take that off. Ooh, shiny new. Ah. Daddy, chill. All right, let's see. So we're gonna shove, come in through the side, shove that right there, shove that there. Oh, that fits flush, nice. And then stick the screw back in, pick that up, and just cinch her up. All right, that's not temporary, permanent. That's permanent. All right, so that's in. And since the wiring harness just runs through the bumper, we could just plug this side in. So here we go. Boop you in. Boop this guy back in, our fog light. And if you have the old headlights, I believe the fog light is the same bulb as the headlight. So if you have a fog light that's out, take it off the old headlight, slap it in. So this is what we look like on the passenger side of the vehicle. Let me do the driver's side, I'll bang that out, and then I'll slap the bumper back on, see how painstaking that is, and then I'll get the battery hooked up and we'll, we'll give it a go, see what it looks like. Alright guys, got the driver's side in, got our little side light in, let's try to get this bumper on, see how easy that is, because that was my first time taking it off, and kind of went pretty easy, so I can't really complain. So let's try and struggle this thing on. All right, let's see if we can not get this guy on. Lift it up. I guess we'll start over here. Okay, so we kind of got the front lined up. Let's see if we can get this guy in there. Get that up in there. That's in. Pound this guy in. So that's back in. That's good. Now let's see if we can struggle this side in. Pick you up. Get you in. This way. Alright, there we got it. Alright, that that's a pain in the ass. Got three screws in. Alright, so we look good there, we look good there. Just about lined up here. 
This side looks all right. Give that a little whack. That's in. And our screws should line up over here. Yeah, they do. Okay, we'll put the screws back in and get this thing back together. <laughs> All right, just gonna put these two side screws in real quick. All right guys, you already saw this in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But yeah, side marker, lights work. And this side's good. Turn the lights off, get a little better effect. I don't know if the camera does justice to it. And the driver's side. I'm not sure about the longevity of these things yet, so I'll keep you posted on that. But for 33 bucks or whatever they were on Amazon, not too bad. Uh, I think it's definitely an improvement over the stock ones, but there's no performance in it. It's just kind of making it look different than a regular GTO. I'll keep you posted on the longevity. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm actually getting ready to go out in the garage and install the oil cooler. So that should be the next video unless I get the brakes working, which not looking good. So, gonna exhaust everything that I can to get those brakes to work because I've never seen this before. Never. So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the oil cooler video. Boom.